Jisha. And I am Dr. Abilucci. We are both scientists and a physicist with 15 years of experience in photonics modeling and computer simulations. Instead, I am an electronic engineer specialized in optical electronics, but currently I am working at the boundary between electronic engineering and physics. In the, in the, in the next two weeks, we will post a series of videos where we would like to teach the basics about scientific computation using Python. If you like the video, please subscribe, ring the bell icon, comment, share and like. Hi guys, today I will show how to install Anaconda which is a distribution for Python in your Linux system. So I have Ubuntu 18.04. For that you first just you can just search anaconda install and you can choose downloads so it will already see that you have the linux system and it will give you the correct downloader so i have the already downloaded the python 3.7 version i have downloaded here so to install so I have downloaded it into my downloads folder so install it's quite easy so I'll just change let me see in which folder I am so I'm at home so I will change to downloads and here you have the your installer anaconda so I will just run bash anaconda so to continue you just press enter and you have to read all the license agreement you just read all of them like this yeah so once you read all the things you have to choose yes or no if you agree with the license so if you agree type yes then it will ask where you want where it wants to be installed so the default is home your user your login username and then anaconda 3 so it will be installed in your home folder so for me this is okay so i'll just press enter to confirm the location and it will download all the necessary things which it needs to install so it's downloading everything and it takes some time so it took around two minutes to install everything and then you reach uh, this uh, prompt where you have to initialize anaconda 3 in your bash rc so you just say yes and it asks if you want to install the microsoft vs code for me i don't want it so i'll just say no so it's installed now so your conda is ready to use so we can check so if you go to your home folder so there is this whole folder anaconda 3 so you have your whole packages installed here in anaconda 3 so usually you can also start anaconda navigator at this point okay so now you can launch the anaconda navigator for this you have to launch a new terminal window which i have done here so i can just go to the home folder but it's not necessary so you can launch anaconda navigator like this so it it will show you all the all the packages and things which ha it has installed so you will have jupyter lab you have jupyter notebook and uh, okay these things are not installed r studio vs code are not installed and here you have spider and qt console so we will be using spider a lot so that's where you 
write all your code and run everything so we will be using that so anyway you don't need this uh, anaconda navigator to launch it so you can just quit you can actually launch uh, through terminal so it's easier through terminal so I will just launch spider like this so this is your terminal window uh, spider window and here you can write all your codes and whatever and then so for example if you want to write let's say everyone does it so let's also print hello world so for this first you have to save it so tempi is saved and you just run it run settings okay run and here you have your hello world so you can also simply run select this and okay i did not select select this and run the cell or run selection or current line or whatever so you can just do this so you have hello world so now you can adjust this thing uh, the size the font size and everything somewhere here with preferences so here you can adjust so i'll just increase a little bit the font size because it's too small for me okay maybe 14 is okay 14 so this is okay so you have increase the font size and it's easy to work with so every time you want to learn uh, to write a new file you can choose new everything is here and you just code whatever you want to for example you want to write uh, for example say five plus five okay this is not an um, we can say home a equals 5 plus 5 then no I, I would just say a is equal to 5 b equals uh, 10 and I would just say c equals a a plus b so it's I can save it like this wherever I want so I will save to my home I will save to let's say documents I'm not naming anything for now I'll just untitle pi save that's okay and then you can run it so the file has been run so to see you can just call here what to see what are the variables you gave so a is 5 B is 10 and your output C is equal to 15 so how to write this as a function and all those things we will look at it later on so for the time being this is how you install anaconda 3 in linux windows also you it's easy just follow the steps it's easy and then you have you want to launch the spider notebook uh the spy uh, this spider and uh, yeah you can work with it so yeah that's it that's it for now so i've just closed the spider you can and i've come back so similarly you can also no launch the jupiter notebook okay so <clears throat> so it should start the notebook on my Uh, default web browser so here it's here like this so you can see all my folders here and yeah so this I'm not discussing more now but uh, this is a web-based interface so for now I'm not discussing it so I have shut down the Jupyter notebook server by using control C now I will show how to install uh, other packages using Conda. So for 
this purpose I will install MEEP and MEEP will be installed in its own environment. MEEP is an open source software uh, for finite different simulations of Maxwell's equation and this will be installed in its own environment. So here I have already, I'm already in the MEEP installation page. So this is the page. You can easily Google it and find it. So for this, for the Conda install, uh, you have to do Conda create and you create the environment name. They choose MP and then you install the packages. So for, I will show you how. So for us, we can do it like this. Conda create minus N, which is like new and I will choose the full name so that I don't confuse which, which are the different environments I install and this is the um, what is this okay yeah so let's start from beginning conda create minus n Meep minus C Chogan minus C Conda Forge Pi Meep. I don't know why it's looking differently. Okay, it's all here. So you have to install, uh, you have to write Conda create minus n Meep or whatever you name whatever name you want to give it but it's better to keep meep minus c shogun and then like this and it's it will be installed so it will take some time It, it wants to install all these packages so these are the minimum packages MEEP requires so there is numpy there is matplotlib and such so these are the minimum packages it MEEP requires and it will be installed in a separate environment not interacting with our main uh, conda libraries so I just give yes here and yeah it will take some time to download everything So all the required libraries have been installed. So uh, now you have this uh, new environment called Meep. So for example, if you go to your home and check Anaconda 3 environments, you have this Meep. So where all the packages which Meep requires are there. So to come to this environment, usually you use so here they are saying conda activate meep and conda deactivate also source activate meep will work so now you are in the meep environment and then you can launch whatever meep codes you have or whatever i mean this could be any other package meep or maya v or whatever so this is how you install an environment in conda Mm, so I will just uh, deactivate it now so it would be source deactivate meep but you can also simply use conda deactivate so now I'm in my uh, normal conda uh, conda uh, normal conda main conda and a conda 3 so now if I want to update conda what I have to do is Conda update Conda. So it's checking. Given we just installed it, there should there should not be any other packages. So to update, you just type Conda update Conda. So as it's, as all requested packages already installed. So this is the minimum we need to work with Python.
install anaconda 3 or miniconda also you can install if you don't want the full functionality but i would say anaconda uh, full anaconda is better and yeah that's it and we will see how to write our first code well in fact we saw how to write our first code by <laughs> by writing hello world but we'll see how to use python for scientific computing